what is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to talk about why Kawhi Leonard should sign with the Los Angeles Lakers and I know Valen is making an NBA video on his wrestling channel no I decided that I will be making both wrestling and NBA videos because that's what I want to do you know Hope you guys respect my decision, similar to how we need to respect Kawhi's free agency decision. As of right now, Kawhi has to choose whether he wants to create the craziest super team of all time, return to the North, or attempt to make the Clippers the best team in LA. I've been thinking, and in my opinion, he should sign with the Lakers and build the big three with LeBron and Anthony Davis. Let's talk about it. We need a new dynasty. The NBA has always been full of dynasties ever since the beginning days of the league. From the 60s through the 70s, the Celtics were dominant. The 80s were a combination of the Celtics with Larry Bird and the Lakers with Magic Johnson. The 90s were dominated by Michael Jordan and the Bulls. The Big Three in Miami then formed in the early 2010s. Then you have the Warriors dynasty that just ended. As you can see, We've always had dynasties dominating the league. This is a good thing. The media likes to create this perception that super teams ruin the NBA, but that's just a big lie. People love to see good players team up and essentially become the Goliath of the NBA while cheering on the Davids. There would be no better super team than LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Kawhi Leonard. Imagine how fun it would be to watch these three guys. It would be fun to see them beat down every team until someone decides to step up. And what better team than the Lakers who have an iconic history in the NBA. These games would be must see TV. The Lake Show would be back. I used to be against super teams, but now I've grown to love and appreciate them and I want Kawhi to create the next super team. Now we need to talk about how this would be a great hometown return. Kawhi Leonard is from Los Angeles, California. This is why he asked the Spurs to trade him to LA because he really didn't want to go anywhere else. For the first time in his career, he is in control of his own destination and I believe he should add home to his family. Many NBA players love to go home because it's a bittersweet moment for them to play in the neighborhood where they grew up. These are the same neighborhoods where they spent relentless hours grinding and playing basketball at the parks to achieve greatness and one day play in the NBA. And as for Kawhi, that is exactly what happened. It's also reported that Kawhi is pretty quiet with other people and it's probably best for him to return home to his family where he's more comfortable. It's so important to him that he even asked Magic Johnson if they tried trading for him in 2018. And of course Magic did because who wouldn't want to trade for Kawhi Leonard, one of the best players in the NBA. But unfortunately the Spurs were being kind of salty and they didn't want to give him up to the Lakers because of beef or whatnot. And also they wanted a million picks, so it never happened. But now Kawhi, it is your choice if you want to go back. Now we have to talk about load management. When becoming a member of the Raptors, Kawhi was granted the opportunity to bring his own staff to the team because of the entire injury he suffered from the Spurs. This was done because he trusted his own doctors more than a staff that wants him to play to win games, and also the Spurs were all pushing him to play. A perfect example are the Warriors doctors who cleared Kevin Durant to play in the playoffs and that ultimately led to him rupturing his Achilles and will sideline him for at least a year and then another one just to return back to full health. Well, the Lakers made it clear that Kawhi could bring his own staff, his own doctors, and I assume he could miss games similar to how the Raptors allowed him to sit out and rest for the goal of winning a championship. This is even better news for LeBron and Anthony Davis because if one of them sits and wants to play, they still have two great players. They don't have to worry about one player sitting and then possibly losing the game and not making the playoffs if that constantly happens. All three men will be able to put less stress on their bodies and still end up having the best record in the NBA. So this is load management but on steroids. Kawhi also needs to think about the future and the duo between him and Anthony Davis. Let's talk about what sounds like a more enticing future team between the Raptors and the Lakers. On the Lakers, you could build a big three with Kyle Kuzma, depending on how he develops, and Anthony Davis. Then on the other hand, your big three in Toronto is pretty much Spicy P and Fred Van Vliet. <laughs> no disrespect to Siakam or Van Vliet, 
but the Lakers have a much better future stored than the Raptors. Kawhi really needs to think about that because LeBron is aging and will probably take a step back if Kawhi does indeed sign. This will become AD and Kawhi's team. Anthony Davis and Kawhi could even end up being the best duo of all time if they won like 5-7 to seven rings together. Speaking of championships, my next point is that there will be multiple championships. If Kawhi does decide to join the Lakers, I believe that they will win championships for at least the next three years with LeBron. That's pretty much confirmed. They're three-peating. After that, Kawhi and Davis could win another five rings with Kuzma when LeBron eventually retires from the league and leaves the Lakers. This means Kawhi could literally have eight to ten total rings. Obviously, this is being very optimistic, but it's definitely possible. Kawhi is only 28 years old and has another good 10 years in the league, especially considering that his play style is old school fundamental basketball. Then you have Anthony Davis, who is even younger at 26 years old and has more than a decade of good basketball in the tank. This could be a championship reign that could last a decade. This can possibly cement Kawhi as one of the greatest, if not the greatest player of all time. Board man can become the goat man. Now we need to talk about business and that is that New Balance wants him in LA. Before making his decision, Kawhi is really thinking about the business aspect. Kawhi Leonard will obviously get money from any one of these three teams, but the Lakers have the biggest market because of their history. New Balance even prefers if Kawhi signs with the Lakers because they see a lot of potential in the brand name. Kawhi will also have a lot more business deals and investments in Los Angeles compared to Toronto. And also, I saw a new report on First Take or somewhere on the news that said Kawhi would make more money in LA because of the taxes in Canada being a lot more. So, overall, I see the business being much better in LA than Toronto. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is that Kawhi has nothing to prove. Kawhi literally won a championship with the Spurs and won the finals MVP as a 23 year old with a Spurs team of legends such as Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, and Tim Duncan. He ended the Heat dynasty and locked up LeBron James. Then he just won with the Raptors having one of the best postseasons of all time. He won the finals MVP again and ended the Warriors dynasty. Kawhi going to team up with LeBron and Davis would not be a cheap move because we all know what he's capable of and he can win on a normal team. He can now play with a super team and have some fun. This wouldn't be like LeBron joining the Heat to win his first ring or KD becoming a warrior after losing with a 3-1 lead. This is totally different and I accept it. At the end of the day, I will respect whatever decision Kawhi makes because he deserves it. But I do want to see him on the Lakers because I do feel like that is the best fit for him. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and sub for more. Follow me on Twitter at Valenplana and I'll see you all in the next video.